As a liver specialist, I am often asked by my friends uh, after a late night party, how do you detoxify the liver, doctor? How do you make it good again? Well, the truth is, the liver is an amazing organ. It doesn't actually need much detox. Uh, I think the key is avoiding toxins. And obviously the commonest toxin that everybody thinks of is alcohol. I must say, I'm not talking about a social glass of wine or a single drink on a Saturday evening once in a while. I am talking about addiction. I am talking about needing to have alcohol before you go to bed. I am talking about consuming three or four large glasses of whiskey every night. That's what I call harmful drinking. And I guess that is the biggest point of all. Unfortunately, we are all drinking more every country in the world and we are drinking at a younger age. 30 years ago, the average age at which people started drinking was 24. Now, it is 19. Average age, that means there are 13 year olds starting to drink alcohol. So, my point is avoiding toxins is one of the biggest factors in keeping your liver healthy. The second one that you wouldn't suspect is sugar. Now, we recently talked about jalebis. I was telling one of my patients, you see a plate of jalebis, we see fatty liver and liver toxicity. So my point is, sugars are not as harmless as you think. And again, moderation is the key. I'm not saying you shouldn't eat anything sweet in your life. If you're not a diabetic, most of the time it doesn't matter. But if you are obese, that means if you are fatter than what you should be for your height, then be careful, cut down on your sugars. If you're diabetic, get to your diabetologist, get your sugars as low as possible, as within the range as possible, and that avoids toxicity to the liver. The third commonest toxin, in a funny way, is obesity. Many of us were brought up with the sort of ideal that said that if you're a little bit chubby, that's healthy. <laughs> I don't think so. Lean, mean, fighting machine is the key word that I would talk about. Muscle is good for you, fat is not. Especially if you're Indian, we have unfortunately genes that predispose us to fatty liver disease. And therefore, even a, sm a small degree of obesity around the trunk, around our bellies, is enough for us to develop fatty. So I think these are in, interestingly the most important reasons or uh, ways to keep your liver in tip top shape. But there are superfoods, vegetables full of antioxidants, a moderation in a balanced diet. For example, nuts are full in omega-3 fatty acids, fish full in omega-3 fat, these are all liver protective. What I feel is a balanced diet is the key. Avoiding these toxins is the second most important thing. And many of us are vitamin deficient, especially vitamin D. And I think once in a while supplementing our diet with a few multivitamins is not a bad idea. Don't forget that exercise is very good for you and therefore exercise along with the diet will ensure that there is no fat accumulation in these liver cells and that hopefully will keep your liver the way it should be.